So yeah, we ended up going to the Nike employee store today and went a little bit uh, overboard. I would like to say that I went back to school shopping, except for that I don't go to school anymore. But uh, there was a lot of people there that were back to school shopping, so it was absolute mayhem. The line wrapped around the building once we got there. The line wrapped around the inside of the building when we went to actually check out. But uh, luckily for us, we had some friends watching our kid. So we were able to go in and do some fun shopping. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys all of the pickups that I ended up getting from Nike. What is going on guys, Hass here, collectivekicks.com. If you guys wanna shop this week's top sneaker deals online, check the links in the description and happy shopping. So the last Nike haul that I had was pretty good. They had a bunch of random releases that um, seemed to have restocked at the employee store. And this time there was the same thing. We had a couple releases that I was just totally shocked that they actually had in stock. So that being said, let's go ahead and show you guys the boxes. And there we have it. This is the haul that I ended up getting. There is a lot of boxes here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shoe boxes, and then a pile of clothes on top. We'll go ahead and get started with the heavyweights first. The Nike Roshi One for Baby Maddie, soon to be uh, announced whenever she ends up deciding to come through. But little satin Roshi runs, and then you have elastic laces. The wife actually picked these out, and they were so dope. Uh, if you guys didn't see our Instagram and Twitter and stuff, we had a little bit of a scare this last week. So they basically took and flipped her around because her head was facing upwards. And normally you need the baby to be facing head downwards. Otherwise you risk having to have a C-section. So we ended up going through and um, having to have her get a spine um, shot and everything on Saturday. So it was a little bit crazy. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm tired. Are you tired? Um, baby Maddie's turned, huh? And so now we're good to have a regular baby the regular way. The regular way. Okay, well, rest up. Thanks, buddy. But uh, everything is A-OK, -okay and baby Maddie is good, and so is the wife. So this is cool that you got something for the future. Little princess, uh, little Maddie. And, uh, yeah, Roshi ones. Next up. Oh, yeah. So this was a crazy one. So I got my double up of the Zoom X. Pegasus turbo joints right here. And if you guys didn't see my reviews, I've done a lot of reviews on these. It came with a bag and everything too. Price point on these are $180 and I got them for 40% off of that. But I looked at the bottom and they were definitely worn in store, outside of the store. I feel like this was definitely a return, but I was not mad at all because I got this on the hash wall. They literally had one pair pretty much in the entire store that I could find and it was my size. And so I was like, yeah, I got to get them. I wanted to get the black pair, honestly, uh, but um, but there's no way I was going to turn these down. So if you guys didn't see my review, I did another detailed review of like basically one month after rocking with this shoe. And I am super mega impressed with what Nike has done here. So definitely a dope shoe. I'm going to turn down my white. Let me know if that improves the color or not, because it seemed like it was a little bit too bright. But, but these are a definite must cop for people, I think. Even from the casual perspective, this shoe is amazing and probably my favorite new model uh, from Nike and any any brands, honestly, to date this year. So definitely a really dope one that I was really happy that they had. Uh, let's see which one this is. So they had some LeBrons in stock. And this one is called the LeBron 15 Prime. And check this out. They had... The Griffey joints right here in store. And they had a ton of different ones of these. So these originally dropped on the sneakers app and it looked like it was just gonna be a little quick strike. And then they had a release and then it was kind of less talked about, but still it's a cool concept uh, for those people that remember the Griffey's and um, the fact that they kind of made the little hybrid thing going on. And they did a really good job with this theme on the LeBrons. This one has the strap right here on the front. This is one, I know some of you guys can probably see the other LeBron box over there, so stay tuned for the other one, but Nike Air logo right there on the back, and then the uh, 15 soles. Now, did you guys know that the 16s are coming out pretty soon? What are you guys' thoughts, actually, on the new LeBron 16s? Uh, love, hates, indifferent, leave a comment in the comment section, let me know what you guys think. It's probably a shoe that I'll end up picking up because it looks like you can wear it maybe casually as well, but a lot of people were saying it looked like the KDs. But anyway, this is the other pair that I got right here. Moving on, six more boxes to go, but there's a pile of clothes. We'll just go through real quick. 
Life got a bunch of cool clothing for after when she has a baby, so you can start working out again. But for those that are actually interested in these type of things, this is the women's numbers and stuff. It's seventy dollars for this. She got some expensive stuff, man. But at the end of the day, uh, I thought she chose like a real nice looking set. So yeah, stretchy pants with flowers, always a plus. <laughs> Epic Lux tight fit. It says, um, yeah. How much were these ones? I bet like seventy dollars too. Ninety-five dollars. Oh my gosh, dude. Like why would stretchy pants? I mean, these feel really nice and they make like women look nice and stuff, but $95? That's craziness. Uh yeah. Oh well. Little shirt, same theme as the other. $60 on, on that shirt. Life went handballs on these things. I didn't realize they were so expensive. Not like I care. I think it's good that she buys things because it's mostly just me. Uh this was $60 for this hoodie. Just a regular logo sure just do it and kind of a cool color as well i ended up getting this hurley box logo shirt it's kind of like a pink hurley box logo kind of cool i liked it and uh yeah this was my choice i also got this one too this is another like blank logo like nike shirt kind of cool how they did the box and that one was 30 bucks as you could see and then a nice little tank top thing i guess these are my uh man shorts now this is the wife's shorts here little flyer print. I wonder if this Hurley or something. Well, these are actually cheap, only 35 bucks. So not bad for that. And then, oh, I did get a beaver shirt. Traditional, I usually get a beaver shirt every single time. And it says build a dam on this one. And so yeah, another beaver shirt there. So that is the clothes haul. Got a ton of clothes as you can see right there. Moving on though, uh, let's show you guys the double up. So not just one, got two pairs of these because they had them in stock. And super crazy that they had these actually, in my opinion. Air Max one anniversary, retail 140. And then we got them obviously for that discount, which is super nice. And not one, but two pairs of them because when in Rome, right? Like the fact that they had the shoe was awesome that they had these in stock because obviously it's the OG joints. But then when I could get like two of them, I was like, it's, Almost like two for the price of one, considering the open market prices as well. But uh, but this is just one of those shoes I think will just always be classically in style because it's the original colorway of the Air Max 1. The very first Nike Air with the visible air unit designed by Tinker Hatfield. Like this is a superstar sneaker in my opinion and a staple in any sneaker collection. So why not have a couple different pairs of these? Yes, I already did have a pair, but uh, why not be able to just have a couple extras? So there is this one as well. I'm gonna move these over here. And then with the theme of air, I ended up getting this Air Max 95. And I was actually secretly quiet about this shoe because I really wanted to get it at a discount. And so this was actually the one shoe when I went there that I, other than the Pegasus Turbo, this is the other shoe that I was really hoping that they'd have in stock because I love this colorway. Uh, it says total orange is the color. And this is like an OG colorway of the Air Max. 95 if I remember hearing correctly, which I don't personally remember But people were saying that this was like an original colorway exclusive to only like champ sports back in the day um, Interestingly enough, I just think that the orange bubbles on this thing just pops has like a, a gradient um, green colorway like an olive type colorway and some sail sort of bone color for the liner and the tongue with that pop of that safety orange looking like hunter type shoe. I just thought this was super dope and I'm a huge fan of the 95s. Um, I like the 95s better than the 97s, like historically speaking. So this one was like an absolute cop for me because this is just one of those colorways that I really, really wanted. That one's out of the way. We still have three more boxes. Let's bring them out. All right, so the last three boxes, we'll start with the wife's. So this is the wife pickup that she ended up getting. She is a Pegasus fan. I already got her one pair of the Pegasus already in like a Orangish colorway, I think pinkish colorway. She liked this one though a lot. And it kind of goes with like all of her clothes that she just got too. Cool looking knit on this one and uh, this 35 faintly on the back. I did a review of the Pegasus 35 from a non-running perspective. My wife is a runner though and she will be using these to run uh, because historically her and my friend uh, Leslie uh, love to run in the Pegasus. So this is what she ended up getting. I was trying to get her a pair of the turbos like those right there, but, uh, but unfortunately they did not have any in stock. Moving on to the Durants. This is another pair of KDs. Now I know I said that this shoe really wasn't for me, 
in my review of the shoe because it just felt too narrow. And I always try over and over again with this model, but this colorway was so fresh that I was like, you know what, I'm gonna size up a little bit on the shoe. So give me some extra wiggle room and just give it another go. So I think that this is a really dope multicolor colorway. Now the multicolor is kind of dead in a sense of resale and like hype and everything else, but I think this colorway is super nice and just an all around nice looking shoe. Um, shout out to Leo Chang, dude. That dude actually follows me on Instagram and sometimes he likes some of my pictures and stuff. Like he's just a regular dude. I met him once with Nightwing back in the day when Nightwing came to Beaverton, Oregon and we toured Nike headquarters together and I beat Nightwing in a game of horse. Um, set the record straight on that one. No, nah, but it was it was a cool moment that we uh, got to go and actually do that and meet Leo and everything else. But, but those are uh, the shoes. And then the last one, super crazy to me that they had this pair as well. So we saw the other LeBrons back here and they also had this one and it was close enough in my size, size 10 with the box lid on in the back of the store. This is the other colorway, and this was the one colorway that I really wanted of this LeBron uh, 15 lineup that they ended up having. They had a whole bunch of different models that they kind of hyper-striked, sort of released them on the sneakers app, and this was the one colorway that I really wanted. So this theme is around the Nike box, as well as Nike headquarters, they have a lot of orange and gray striped sort of uh, themes around the, at least the old side of headquarters but it's just kind of like a nostalgic print to myself and uh, somebody that grew up around Nike headquarters in general. I just thought this one was dope. Plus it's an orange print, of course, so I like that. And it's super, super bright. There's it says 603 on the tongue there. And it says some more stuff on the inside. Building 108. I don't know why it says 603. I would think it says 503 because 503 is the Portland area code. Anyway, these ones are super dope though, and I'm really glad that they had these ones. These are the, these are the ones that I wanted more than anything. The fact that I got those were definitely is definitely a plus. And then you could see the other theme uh, one right here. An all around decent haul. The one thing I did not get was a pair of Jordans. They had the Jordan 5s, the recent ones that ended up releasing, but honestly, even at a discount, I wasn't feeling the shoes. That was just, it was just not something of interest to me, so I passed on them completely. But uh, other than that, they didn't really have any Jordans there this time. But that is my haul. Air Max 1, double up, Air Max 95, LeBron 15, LeBron 15, KD 11 multicolor, Pegasus Turbo, Pegasus 35 for the wife, and Maddie with the little joints right here. Some of you guys are going to be like, what the heck, why didn't you get anything for Harrison? Uh, the main reason why we didn't get anything for Harrison is because Hibbit Sports recently got him the Air Jordan Cement 3s, as well as the Just Do It Air Force 1s. And Harrison's actually been rocking the heck out of both of them. He really loves those shoes. Plus, we have a closet full of shoes that are size 10 in his size right now. Had a lot of fun going to the Nike employees tour. Shout out to the people inside the store that recognized me, that said, what's up? It's always a plus. Always fun to be able to say hi to people, uh, even though it was complete mayhem in the store. But um, but I'm glad that people uh, came up and said, what's up? But that, uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching the video. And check back soon. We have a bunch of fun top five Tuesday videos that I plan on releasing soon. And uh, some other sneaker pickup videos as well. And if you guys want to see any sneaker reviews of any of these shoes out here, um, I guess just leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know which shoe you'd want to see a review of. But thank you guys again for watching. We'll catch you guys for some more sneaker videos very soon. Peace, guys.